Hey there, this is Lula LV. Today we have another episode of Designer Duels. This episode, we will be battling out the Louis Vuitton Neo Noe MM versus the Strathberry Lana Oset Midi. I recently revealed this bag on my channel a few weeks ago. Since then, I've been using it a lot and I'm super excited for this month's designer duels. But before we get into that, let's recap last month's winner. The winner was the Speedy Bandolier 30 with 67% of the vote. The loser, unfortunately, was the Alma PM with 33% of the vote. Let's take a look now at some of the comments about why people voted for the Alma or the Speedy. Let's start with our winner, the Speedy Bandolier 30. The first comment I'm going to highlight is actually from a fellow YouTuber, Danny. Go check out her channel. This is Danny O. If you haven't already, I love her videos. Danny said, if we're talking about these bags in these sizes, I would go for the Speedy 30. Danny says, because they're both relatively large, the softer Speedy 30 will be more comfortable to carry, and if it's not completely stuffed, it will feel less bulky than the Alma. That's a great point. The Alma has a very rigid structured base, so in the larger sizes, you can't like smush it down a little bit if it's not completely full, but with the Speedy you can and it almost sort of melts into the side of your body when you're wearing it. You get that great Speedy sag. So definitely a good point from Danny. I'm looking down off screen at my computer to read these comments. Chris says, since I'm more of a casual person, I vote for the Speedy Bandolier 30. I had the Alma PM in Damia Bean as well as in black Empreinte and sold both. I think they're beautiful bags, but not for me. I also don't care for the cross hooks to attach a strap. They definitely should have included a strap for a bag that's designed with hooks for a strap. It's senseless and cheapens the appeal, yet is obviously more cost effective for LV and that's a great point. So what Chris is talking about on the Alma PM, there's hooks to attach a crossbody strap, but the bag is not sold with a strap. When I want to carry my Alma PM on my shoulder or crossbody, I have to grab a strap from another bag and attach it onto the Alma. So that's a really great point. Let's take a look now at some of the comments voting for the Alma PM. The user Dimdull comments, I have an Alma PM in black epi leather, but not the Speedy Bandolier 30. The Alma purchase was meant for daily office wear. I like to dress up my Alma PM with a broad red leather Loewe shoulder strap and a muted red fur pom-pom. They say, yeah, it's kind of outdated, but I really like the look. And I think that looks fabulous as well. The black with the red leather strap. I bet is really eye-catching. They say, I do not carry it over the shoulder as the strap is meant for decoration only. The bag is breathtaking. And I completely agree. The Alma design has been around for ages. It's kind of hard to believe, but this bag was designed in the 1920s and it is. It's timeless, classic, sophisticated. It's really just a bag that I think will never go out of style. So those are all of the comments and the votes from last month's, or I should say two months ago, designer duels. Um, I did not upload my video last month because I was on vacation, um, but here we are back with episode three. If you're new to designer duels, let me quickly explain how it works. So in this video, I will present two different bags. I'll do hopefully a very clear and objective comparison between the two of those. When you're done watching the video, comment down below why you are choosing one bag over the other as the winner for this designer duels. I will be choosing select comments to read in next month's video. Then head over to my community page and cast your official vote in the poll. I will also have that poll linked in a pinned comment below. So go look for it there. And that's 
all you have to do to participate and then hopefully you will come back and join me in next month's Designer Duels episode where I will announce the winner and show you two more bags that will duel it out. Okay, here we are talking about the overall aesthetics of these two bags. These are both midi or medium size bags, so they are quite large. And the overall aesthetics of these two bags are actually quite similar, which is why I wanted to show them side by side. These are both bucket bags. They both have a drawstring closure. Let me get this shoulder strap out of the way. So here you can see they both have a drawstring closure with a toggle pull to open and close the bag. And let me open this one up a little bit to show you the inside. They both just have really nice, clean, open interiors. Wow, this one is really a black hole. Um, this does have a very dark black microfiber lining but it's just all completely open. There's no pocket or anything inside. On the Neo Noe MM, I do have an organizer inside, so I will remove that. Oh, and I have some tickets in the bottom of my bag as well. <laughs> Again, this one is all open with nothing on the inside of the bag. It does come with a removable pouch. So here we have the removable pouch and this does attach to the inside of the bag. So here again, let's look at these overall right next to each other now that we've had a basic tour of both bags. Very casual yet sophisticated bucket bags. They both come with a long shoulder and crossbody strap they also both come with a top handle. I don't have the top handle attached right now, but we will look at that later on in this video when we compare the straps and carrying options. Now let's compare the colors and materials that are available for each of these bags. Let's start with the Strathberry Lana Oset Midi. The particular one I have is in a two-tone style. This is in the color burgundy and the trim color is tan. Let me hold it a little bit closer so you can see. So it's just a really nice deep wine burgundy color. I would actually consider this closer to an oxblood. It's very dark and this is just a nice neutral caramel uh, like tan color. So this is the particular bag that I have and here we can see that on the strap It does have a very nice white contrast stitching as well This bag is only available in leather on the Strathberry website This is a really nice pebbled leather. I believe this is a calfskin leather and this current um, color combination is actually not available on the website. I did buy this on sale over the summer, so this may be a discontinued color now. You can get this bag in all burgundy or all tan, just not this combination of half burgundy and half tan. But this does come in a big variety of colors on the website. There are a few options with two colors available. We have the vanilla and tan combination. We have the vanilla and sage combination, which is really beautiful. I love that for the spring and summer. Besides that, we have your classic colors the burgundy, navy, some really nice neutrals like the mushroom and tan. There's also two versions with raffia. I really love these for the summer. There's a raffia with an oat color leather trim. You can also get the raffia with a tan colored leather trim. I really love those, of course, for the summer. Now let's look at the options available for the Louis Vuitton Neo Noe. And again, this is what's currently available on the Louis Vuitton website. There's a little bit more variety available, 
This is in the bicolor emprunt leather. It's also available in the regular emprunt leather that does not have the giant monogram on it. It's just the regular size monogram print. It's available in epi leather as well if you like it to be a little bit more subtle in terms of the branding. However, in canvas, the only color I currently see online for the Neo Noe MM size is their classic monogram canvas, but the Neo Noe is often included in seasonal collections. So you can sometimes get it in Damier Bean or Damier Azure print in a special release collection. Now let's take a look at the size of these two bags and what fits. As I said before, these are both in the larger size, the medium size. I will put the exact measurements up on screen in a moment, but let's just take a visual look. So here you can see the Lana Osset Midi is slightly smaller than the Neo Noe MM. When they line up, the Lana Osset Midi, the Strathberry, is just about an inch shorter. Side by side, here let's look this way. You can see it's also a little bit narrower. It's maybe about a half an inch narrower. And it's also about one inch shorter in length. So the height and length are about one inch shorter and the width or the depth is about a half an inch smaller. There we go, on the Strathberry. Let me show you really quick now what fits. Starting out with the Neo Noe MM, let's take a look and see what fits in this bag. Here's everything. I do have it in an organizer. And let's take all of these items out and see what exactly is in here. And then we'll see if we can fit all of these items in the slightly smaller Strathberry Lana Osset Midi. I've just removed the organizer from the bag. This is actually a purse organizer from the company Zumoni. I'm not affiliated with them at all, but if you're interested in this, I will link to it in the description box below. Now let's see what's inside. I have the small wristlet that comes with the Neo Noe MM. I have a compact trifold wallet. This is the YSL Cassandra. I have my mini pochette accessoire, and this is where I keep all of my little items like band-aids, lip gloss, etc. I have a pair of sunglasses in the case. I have a claw hair clip, and in this side pocket here, I have a packet of pocket tissues. I also have my Louis Vuitton six key holder, and then in the side here, I have a few single uh, individually wrapped wet wipes. So here's everything. Oh, I actually didn't have my cell phone in here because I'm using it to film, um, but I do have the iPhone 15 Pro Max that was just released and that does fit very nicely in here as well. There is plenty of room. Oh look, and a couple cough drops. Now let's take all of these items and see how they fit inside the Strathberry. Here I have the Strathberry. I have it all the way open. I actually do not have a purse organizer for this. So I'm just going to put all the items straight into the bag, starting with the larger items. And let's see how they all fit. Here I have the mini push at Asesuar and the compact wallet. I'll put those in. The wristlet. This I'm going to have to stand up. It's a little bit too wide to fit across the back of the bag and it's actually pretty tall, so I may need to take the wristlet out. I'm going to put the individual wipes and the tissues in as well as the sunglasses and the claw clip. And I'll toss in the cough drops, although I would normally put those in uh, my mini pochette. So here you can see everything fits in really nicely. It's a little bit uh, disorganized because I do not have an organizer in here. 
This wristlet is too wide to go across the bag. It has to go straight up and down vertically and you can see it really comes up to the top of the bag. So if I were to close this, I really can't close the bag because it's too wide. So let's remove this wristlet. And here you can see how everything fits. And now we can cinch it up nicely. This fits all of the same items I had in my Neo No AMM, although they do fit a little bit tighter in this bag. They do certainly fit. This is the only item that wouldn't fit. Just for your reference, let me measure this and tell you the size of it. Okay, now I have my handy little measuring tape and this wristlet measures eight inches across and a little over five inches, about five and a quarter inches of height. So if you have anything that's larger than eight by five and a half inches, it will likely not fit inside the Strathberry Midi. Now it's time to compare the straps and carrying options for both of these bags. They do both come with a top handle, as I mentioned earlier. I've just attached the top handle so you can see. And they both come with a crossbody and shoulder strap, but the straps are where I see the biggest difference between these two bags. So let me point out those differences. First of all, the top handle strap from the Louis Vuitton Neo Noe does have a clasp at each end and it's very easy to take it on and off. There you go, you can see I just removed the strap. And let's take a closer look at it. Here you can see it's pretty thick. It is padded and it is stamped. It does say Louis Vuitton Paris at the top. And this is a really nice, thick, substantial top handle. And again, we have the clasps on each side. Here is the top handle from the Strathberry, and this is not padded. This is just um, a double side of leather. So we have a strip of leather sewn with another strip of leather in the middle. It feels like there might be something inside between the two pieces of leather, but it is pretty slim, as you can see there. And this just attaches with a leather um, tab through the hardware. So there is no clasp. If you want to remove it, you do have to pull that out. And then it's a very tight squeeze, but you just unthread it. And then I usually clip it back in. So this um, strap holder here doesn't fall off the end. So it's a little bit more of a hassle to take it on and off. But here we go. And let me just clip this back in. And here is the top handle. As you can see, it is a little bit less substantial than the Louis Vuitton. So these are the two top handles. There is also a crossbody and shoulder strap with each option. And again, these straps are quite different. The Strathberry is the darker color one. The lighter color one is the Louis Vuitton. These both have a clasp at the end. They're both just your standard gold tone clasp. I do want to point out there are some details that are really nice on the Strathberry one. Here you can see a gold foil stamp that says Strathberry made in Spain. However, the adjustments on these are quite different. The Louis Vuitton strap has two settings. So there's a shorter uh, shoulder setting and then you just undo the buttons on each side slide it out and clip it in the middle. 
So there's one setting for the shoulder length and one setting for the crossbody length. It is not adjustable, but if the crossbody length works for you, then you're in luck. I will put the strap drop lengths on the screen um, so you can see what they are for the Neo Noe strap. And there you have it. It's a really lightweight yet feels substantial. Here is the Strathberry strap. And again, you can see this is really different because there's multiple settings on this strap. And even though it looks like there's a lot of settings, there's really not that many because there's three buttons here to attach the front and the back portions of the strap. So even though there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven settings, you can really only use five of them because this top button here only has one, two, three, four, five places it can go. I was um, just a little disappointed in that because I thought it would be a little bit more adjustable, but it's about a three and a half inch um, space that you have to play around with it. And you can see there is a little bit of a um, bending or bumps in the leather here where the buttons are. So I did just want to point that out as well. So there are the straps and the carrying options for both of these bags. The last point of comparison is the price and investment value for both of these bags. The, and again, as we're comparing these, this is really important to keep in mind. The price point for these two bags are vastly different. The two specific bags I'm holding in my hand, the Louis Vuitton retails for $2,840. This specific Strathberry retails for $645. This bag is over three times the cost of this bag. So it is a huge price jump. Uh, let me go a little bit more detail into those prices. So this specific one in the bicolor Empreinte is $2,840. If you get the other leather versions, they're slightly less expensive. The regular Empreinte that's just one color is $2,710. This is all US dollar pricing. The Epi leather, again, is slightly less expensive. It's around $2,500. And the canvas version is $2,030. This is all the USD pricing as of September 2023. So you're looking $2,000 to $2,800 for this bag. It is expensive, but you can resell it. Of course, there's a huge demand on the resale market for Louis Vuitton. It's one of the most popular luxury brands out there. You probably won't make money off of reselling a Neo Noe. If you're looking to make money on the resale market, I would not recommend the Neo Noe. However, you can make back a good chunk of the money that you spent on your Neo Noe if you do ever decide to sell it. Now, let's talk about the price for the Strathberry. The retail price of the leather version, the full leather version is $645. I did mention earlier in this video, there's a version with raffia that retails slightly less at $555. However, these bags do go on sale. I currently see two that are on a sale price on the website. They're listed for $414. I bought this particular bag during their summer sale, the retail price I paid was under $400. I don't have the exact price offhand. I entered my email address wrong, so I never got the email confirmation. The bag just showed up at my house one day. So I don't have the exact retail price I paid, but the final price with taxes included um, that I have from my credit card a receipt uh, that was $414. So with taxes, this came out to 414. 
and this is way more affordable compared to the Louis Vuitton. So we do have to keep that in mind when comparing these two. In terms of investment value, I really can't recommend Strathberry uh, just because I don't have that data. This is a contemporary brand. So if you were to try to resale this um, to one of the big luxury resale sites like Fashion File or Rebag or Yugi's Closet, I don't know if they would uh, any of them would accept this bag because it's not considered a true luxury brand. Um, if you were to resale this at, say, a local consignment store or just sell it yourself, you would definitely lose money on it. Although, again, I don't have the data to say how much you could really resell it for. I don't have that info. Um, but you could probably get back uh, maybe like a few hundred dollars for it if I were to guess. Um, so this is the Strathberry Lana Osset Mini. Now here's the part where you come in, go down to the comments section and explain why you're voting for one bag or the other. Why are you picking the winner that you are? And I will read some of the comments in next month's Designer Duels episode when I announce the winner. After you've commented, head over to my community page and cast your official vote. I will have the poll linked in the description box and in a pinned comment. So just look for the link to the poll there. And that's where you can cast your official vote. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I hope you'll come back every Friday for new videos. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye now.